It's funny, I just saw a commercial for Domino's Pizza and they're advertising this uh, delivery insurance. Yeah, the delivery people in this movie definitely need to sign up for that. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So a couple things right off the hop. First, before we get to the actual review, I just wanna say this. I have had a ton of people ask me to do an IT Chapter 2 review. I will not be doing one, okay, <laughs> all right? Um, there is enough, you know, bigger YouTube channels out there that look after most of the bigger mainstream uh, horror movies. For the most part, I like to just stick with the lower budgeted, uh, you know, kind of video on demand type horror movies. I do uh, do some bigger horror movies once in a while, but I just, I mean, literally, there's a thousand IT reviews out now, so, I mean, there's no need. So, very quickly, I'll give you a quick review. It's not as good as the first one, it's way too long, and the CGI sucks. Um, I didn't hate the movie, but it certainly was nowhere near as good as the first one. To give it a rating, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. There. There's my IT Chapter 2 review. So, I hope that makes everybody happy that's been asking me. Trust me, I appreciate all of you, you know, that, that message me and stuff and ask me to do those reviews. So unfortunately I didn't get around to doing one, but there's my review in a nutshell. So there. So now we are going to talk about this movie called Satanic Panic. And it just came out this past Friday on video on demand. I got to be honest, I watched the trailer and I, I honestly didn't think it was going to be that good. So I kind of steered clear from it. Um, when I do trailer reviews, um, I, I try not to do movies that I, you know, where I don't think they're going to be very good or the trailer isn't all that good. Um, just because it's not really fair to judge a movie on the trailer a lot of times, unless it's the movie The Car, the remake. Those guys can still fuck off. But anyways, uh, but wow, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> the first, the first little segment in this movie, I thought I was right. I was right. I'm not going to like this movie because the very opening clip of this movie, I don't know if I was just in one of those moods when I sat down to watch this and I, I just thought I'm going to hate this fucking movie. This is going to be the longest hour and a half of my life, but I'll tell you something after the first, the very first scene and then the opening credits and then bang, we're right at the pizza parlor. And I was like, I don't know what happened, but something magical came over me and I was just drawn into this flick and I fucking loved this movie. I thought it was fantastic. Wow. Chelsea Stardust, if in fact that is your real name, which I know it's not, but she's the director and goddamn, you did a fantastic fucking job. I mean, wow. The uh, Let's get to the actors and actresses first. Actually, it's it's more or less a, a female cast in this movie. Um, the, main, the main actress is Haley Griffin, who plays Sam Kraft, and she nailed it, man. She really, I mean, not only is she absolutely beautiful, which is probably why I was drawn into this movie, but, I mean, her acting, she was, she was awesome. And then she kind of befriends this, uh, you know, this girl later on, and she kind of saves her, uh, Ruby Modine, who plays Judy Ross. And then the other real main character is uh, Rebecca... Ramjan, or Ramajan, I'm not really sure how to say her name, but it's, she plays Danica Ross, the mum, and she's kind of like the satanic cult leader. Um, okay, give me, let me give you a synopsis here quick. This is going to be a short review. It's just, watch this movie. That's, that's my rating. Just watch this because it is fantastic. But a pizza delivery girl at the end of, the, uh, of her financial rope has to fight for her life and her tips when her last order of the night turns out to be a high society... Um, be high society Satanists in need of a virgin sacrifice. Well, that's pretty much the movie in a nutshell. Um, like I said, it opens up uh, in, the, in the pizza parlor and she takes this order because um, I, I guess it's in the ritzier neighborhood. It's her first night as a pizza delivery girl too. And uh, so she goes to this, uh, this upper class, uh, high society kind of neighborhood thinking she's gonna get a big tip. And the guy stiffs her at the door. They order five pizzas. And uh, he stiffs her at the door, so instead of just leaving, she, uh, she kind of goes through the window to confront this guy, and it turns out she walks in on a sa satanic cult kind of ritual. And uh, they need a virgin, which they don't have, so they're in a satanic panic, 
uh, because they're trying to, to draw this, this demon out. Uh, Bofomet, I think is his name. And uh, yeah, so I mean, it's all about trying to capture Samantha so they can use her virgin body to, to you know, birth this demon into life. And man, oh man, I'll tell you, this movie is friggin' fantastic. I don't know what the budget was. Um, it must have had a little bit of a budget because the effects in this movie were fantastic. And by effects, I mean mostly practical effects, which is the other reason why I love this movie. Um, it's, it's got everything in it, man. It's got some nudity, <laughs> if you like that sort of thing. It is a horror movie, so and it's an 80s style, uh, to me anyways, I saw it as kind of an 80s style, kind of a witchcraft, kind of satanic type flick. Um, but there's lots of gore in it, and it's not the cheesy gore. I mean, when they're cutting heads off and all this sort of stuff, man, it it's great. I, I, I thought it was fantastic. There's one scene, and I'm not giving any spoilers here. Obviously, it's a horror movie, so there's deaths in it. But there's, there's a scene, actually there's a couple scenes in this movie that just blew me away. There's one scene where the, where the mom uh, <laughs> pulls, pulls this guy's guts out. I get, you know how the, what is it, the uh, fortune tellers can read stones and stuff to predict your future? So she's trying to find out where, where um, Sam's hiding. So she pulls this guy's guts out and is reading his intestines. It's, it's pretty crazy. It, it was awesome. And then there's another scene in a, in a house where... Um, just before they kill uh, uh, Judy, um, Sam comes in and saves her, but the one girl who's going to kill Sam, or sorry, Judy, comes out and she's got this, uh, I don't know what it is, it's strapped to her body and it's like this giant corkscrew spinny thing. <laughs> and a fight ensues and the other girl um, gets gored by this spinny thing, but it kind of because it's got uh, teeth on it, every time it spins, it draws her in closer. It's just, it's great. I mean, this, this movie is a lot of fun. Um, I don't want to give, like, spoilers for it, you know what I mean? But it, it's just, it's better if you go in not really knowing much, I guess, much more than I just told you, which is just the synopsis, pretty much, and a couple kills. But, I mean, wow, I was, I was blown away by this movie. And again, I saw the trailer, and I'm not trying to say anything bad about the editors of the trailer, but it just... I just didn't think it was going to be that good. And even the first opening scene, the first couple of minutes of this movie, I thought, oh, fuck, this is going to be a long one. Now, it's only a hundred or uh, an hour and a half. Maybe um, I think it came in at like 88 minutes or something like that. But man, oh, man, Chelsea Stardust, you this is her. I believe it's her first um, like major uh, film. She's done some shorts. And if you go to her biography, she has been like a an assistant on like every fucking horror movie you can name. Like just, just go on her biography uh, page on IMBD and, and just, just click and man, she's been like a first assistant to, to everybody in every fucking movie. It's incredible. So, which is probably why this movie's so good because she's just seen it all and knows what works and what doesn't work. And man, I don't know, this, this movie really worked for me. It's got a 5.8, I think on IMBD, but I would give this movie like easily a seven and a half maybe even an eight just for a low budget video on demand movie i pff, i don't know man I, I thought this thing was fantastic there was one again i don't want to rip other critics because i mean again it's you know how they see the movie but somebody another critic gave this like a two and a half and i'm like again what the fuck are you watching this is not a two and a half movie man this thing like i thought it was killer really i mean it had everything it had like it was the, all the jokes kind of hit the mark um it, it had a great pace it kept moving there was never a dull moment of this movie um the, the gore was fantastic i mean if you like the 80s style nudity there was some boob shots here at the end i mean it's fucking great i I just thought this was a great movie, and the acting was superb. I mean, again, when you have lower budgeted movies, you need good actors and actresses, and this movie definitely had that. Like, everyone in this movie looked like they wanted to fucking be there. They just weren't cashing it in. It was it was awesome. I, I just, again, I just thought this movie was fantastic. And, you know, I said it earlier, Haley Griffith really, really brought this movie home, man. She was great in it, so... Anyways, uh, Satanic Panic, it is out now. I highly recommend this movie. I thought it was fantastic and it surprised me, made me eat my words. Again, saw the trailer, didn't think it was going to be very good. And then I watched it and it was like a big slap in the face. 
It's like, fuck Myron, <laughs> here you go again because you're wrong again. You know what I mean? And yes, I was. This movie was absolutely great and I highly recommend it. Make sure you give it a watch. If you've seen it, let me know what you think of it. If you haven't seen it, definitely go watch it and then get back to me and let me know what you think of it. So anyways, Satanic Panic, let me know what you think. It's out now and until next time, guys, stay scared.